I mean, it's we really stress just staying with it all night between periods on the bench, you know, trying to stay positive. You know, it was it was ugly at times in terms of our execution, or we tried to be a little too cute with some some things. Um, but I, I give our guys a lot of credit. Uh, we wanted to have a response today. You know, that first one goes in early in the hockey game, and our, our guys uh, they showed a lot of character, just kind of battling through and. Um, you know, uh, I was proud of their effort, and, and we needed that win going into the break. Well, how important is it? I was talking to uh, one of the guys earlier today, but when the calls aren't necessarily going your way in certain games, how important is it to stay calm at that moment? Well, I think mature hockey teams stay composed, and you know we've got some veteran guys in that dressing room, and uh, you know played a lot of games in the National Hockey League, um, good American League uh, leaders. Um, it's their job, along with mine, to kind of keep the you know, the, the water's calm, and, and, you know, I thought our guys did a good job of that. You know, they, there was time, especially in that first period, where it could have been, you know, 2 3 nothing for them. Got some big saves from Oscar, uh, and then Wolfie comes in and, and makes some big saves as well, and, uh, you know, just kind of hung us around the game to, you know, eventually get the winner with four seconds left. Well, and then Brett Sutter had a game last night, game tonight, both very important goals. Does that kind of speak to what the leadership you showed to bring to this team? Yeah, I mean, we had we had an honest conversation about our game last night uh, in our team meeting this morning, and uh, you know, he's our main leader. And uh, you know, if you looked at his first shift, the hockey game, he you know had a couple big hits. You know, when you see your captain and the oldest player in your roster doing that, uh, there's no excuses. And uh, you know, he gets that big goal in the in the second period in the power play. Uh, I thought he was real effective tonight, and that's what good leaders do. Now we're headed into the AHL All Star break. First of all, is it nice just to grab a break? Yeah, for a few hours, and then I get to go coach some hockey again for a few days. But uh, I, I'm excited, you know, to get a little breather. Uh, it's important for the guys to get away from the game mentally and physically right now. Uh, we've played a lot of hockey here over the last, you know, 35 days or so with a lot of travel in there. Um, so the guys will take advantage of that, and uh, we'll get back to work here for the last 28 games. And then speaking of that all-star break, I mean, are you excited to get coaching on this uh, new team? Yeah, it'll be fun. You know, I'm, I'm excited just to, you know, obviously represent the organization, uh, get to go with a couple of our guys here in Phillips and, and Wolf, and, uh, you know, meet some other players and, and personnel around the league. Uh, you know, you kind of get hunkered down here in the Pacific Division all the time. Uh, you don't meet a lot of people, so uh, I'm excited for that. Is there something you're looking forward to while you're down the Uh Yeah, you know what, just, you know, have some fun. You know, three on three hockey, a different different uh, look for the you know the AHL All Star game. It's been a few years, obviously with COVID and whatnot. Um, so I think the guys are excited just to go out and uh, you know have a little fun for the fans as well.